Hey, what's up guys? We're gonna be talking about one of the most underrated DPS characters right now, actually the most underrated, which is Zhongli. Now, before you guys skip forward or leave an angry comment or anything, let me give you guys a disclaimer. I'm not saying he's the best DPS. I'm not saying he's better than Deluc or Child. I'm just saying one, I love him, and two, he's extremely underrated and better than a lot of DPSs that people are running. And I don't understand why this character is getting so much hate when he's a top tier support and a great DPS option, especially when you need a second DPS for like another Abyss team. Let's say you only have one, like a Deluc for DPS, and then you get Zhongli, you're like, should I use him, should I not? I'm gonna show you in this video why I think you should. And the main selling point is that his best weapon is a free-to-play weapon. Basically what makes him good as a DPS is this free-to-play weapon that's just broken. It's literally better than any five-star weapon. So I just wanted to put that disclaimer so people don't get upset because I love him DPS. I'm gonna be using him as DPS a lot and I wanna advertise like, yes, I love him DPS. I think he's good, he's underrated and you should use him if you don't have like a Diluc, a child, something like that. Now with that out of the way, I hope you guys can enjoy this video because He's super underrated and Crescent Pike is absolutely insane. Before we get into it, I just want you guys to know I stream on Twitch most nights and I really enjoy it and the, the love I've been getting has been insane. So if you want to stop by, follow my Twitch, link is in the description. That being said guys, let's get right into the video. Basically Zhongli is carried by the fact that he's a polearm user with a very fast attack, like attack speed, and the fact that he uh, has an amazing charge attack and a multi-hit move. When he kicks his spear, it does a bunch of multi like a multi-hit move and that procs the Crescent Pike, which is just one of the best weapons in the game. In fact, the Crescent Pike is what makes DPS Zhangling good and why people use DPS Zhangling. It's because of how good this weapon is and because it's a free to play option. I'm here telling you guys that Zhongli is similar and better uh, and just a great DPS option if you have him. And if it means anything, he's also super cool and tons of fun. And when you compare him to all these other characters, uh, there's only a few that can outclass him DPS wise. And it's usually only the five stars. So to show you guys what the Crescent Pike does, I'm gonna uh, demonstrate. So you can see my normal attacks, you know, they do a decent amount of damage, right? But what you're gonna notice is when I activate the Crystal Pikes effects, when I pick up a particle, and I can be from another character, I'm gonna be doing way more damage. So I pick up these, watch this. Every hit I do does two numbers now. Let's just do one hit. See, so it did two numbers, 1700 and 900. That 900 damage is bonus. It's all coming from the Crescent Pike. So in practice, what that does is it makes me do way more damage on all my hits. Look how many numbers just appeared on like a single target. And that's why when people say that Crescent, like the DPS Zhongli isn't viable, I just assume they don't know what a Crescent Pike even is or haven't tested it. Now, I understand the argument that he's worse than Deluc, he's worse than like a Max Kaching and stuff like that. And sure. But you can say the same about DPS Fischl, DPS Zhangling, who are characters that people constantly, constantly use and praise. So talking about artifacts, in terms of artifact sets you can run, first of all, let me say there are a lot of good options. Um, so let's just go over them. Before I get into the great ones, in the early game, if you're like still a low level player and you have Zhongli, you can run something like a two piece Berserker, very nice. But in the later game, there are many uh, really good sets you can run. So one of them is a four piece Glad. Running all four of it will increase your attack damage uh, from uh, your normal attack damage, sorry, by 35% because you're a, you are a polearm user. So that's very nice. You can run a four piece Glad. Another decent set is a four piece Bolide because you're gonna constantly be shielded. So you're gonna have 40% normal and charge attack damage. I thought Bolide would be the best set on Zhongli, but running the numbers, doing the maths, it turns out it's very good, but it isn't the absolute best. Now, what the absolute best set is, is a two piece Glad Finale with a two piece Bloodstained Chivalry. Overall, this is just more DPS. It's what uh, you run on Zhang Ling. For DPS, I actually made sure I checked Enviosity's build. I just, I, I gotta get my credible sources. But yeah, so 2 piece Bloodstain, 2 piece Glad, it gives you a very, very nice set effect. That physical damage plus 25% is insane. And the 18% attack is just a nice bonus. Another set worth mentioning is the 4 piece Bloodstained. I thought this was bad, but like upon like testing it a bit and reading it, it actually seems pretty good because of how good Zhongli's charge attack is. Now, I don't think it's optimal. I don't think you should run it, but um, it does seem like really, it's really fun because of how cool his charge attack is. So it's definitely something uh, that I wanted to mention. Also worth mentioning that I, I'm not talking about the Petra set because this is a Geo damage set. So in terms of stats you want on your artifacts, um, obviously for substats, like the main things you're looking for are crit rate and crit damage. You would just want to build crit like any DPS. Um, for your goblet, which is the most important piece, you want physical damage bonus. Uh, I've seen mixed DPS wrongly with like attack or even like a Geo damage. Uh, goblet, but this I would recommend more on a support jungle. When you're running DPS, you're doing it because of the Crescent Pike and because of how fast you can attack uh, with like super conduct and all that stuff. So physical damage bonus is really what you want. In terms of circlet, you want either crit rate or crit damage. I'm using crit rate because I have a nice crit damage substat, very, very good artifact. Um, and then for sands, you want attack and for feather, obviously you're stuck on attack. But basically uh, for like these two and for all your artifacts, you're gonna be looking for like the same substats, crit damage, crit rate, attack is nice too. And I like energy recharge. 
Uh, also, HP isn't as bad on Zhongli as other characters because your ultimate does get some bonus damage um, from HP because of one of his talents, which I showed in my last video. Now, I'm not really going to be going over talents and all that stuff because I mentioned that in my last video. Um, but in case you guys are wondering, my constellation is zero. So something that will greatly increase your DPS is if you learn to animation cancel your different attacks. So the main attack you want to be focusing on is the five hit which will do four different hits and each of them will trigger the Crescent Pike, making it a super, super good attack. So all you can do is as soon as you see his foot hit the spear, you can dash or you can like use your E, swap characters, do anything to animation cancel it. And you don't have to be locked uh, in this little delay. Obviously, sometimes you want to use it if you want that sixth hit out, you do that and then the other hit. But a lot of the time it can be beneficial to animation cancel it, especially into something like a dash attack. Something you can do is you can throw the spear and then hold your mouse button and it'll just do a charge attack with that projectile spear and it does a ton of damage. Another important thing to note is that you can uh, actually jump cancel your charge attack. So something you can do is the charge attack, which is normally like this, and then you can attack after. Uh, you can jump cancel that to like one sword if you're fast. And you can deal that damage and instantly like get out of it. You don't have to travel the whole distance. Obviously, sometimes you want to, but um, you can jump cancel it really early. So obviously what you want to do depends on the situation. Sometimes you want animation cancel uh, that kick into like an ability or to swap, or sometimes you want to even do the last hit. It really depends on the scenario, but these are just some important animation cancels that you need to know or that you should know to maximize your DPS. So in terms of party comps with physical Zhongli, the main thing you're looking for is superconduct. Now, one of his downsides uh, is that you need two characters to proc superconduct. You need an electro support and a cryo support to be uh, for maximum DPS. Now, a character like Razor, uh, you can argue, his, one of his bigger upsides is that he's Electro, even if you build him physical damage, so that you can proc um, Superconduct with only a Cryo support. With Zhongli, however, you need two. I don't think that's as big of a downside as people say though, because a lot of the Electro supports in this game are very good, like Fischl. I wouldn't run Chongyun with him. He's one of the only characters I wouldn't recommend because he converts your damage into Cryo damage, and ideally you want to keep it physical. Apart from that though, he has a lot of good synergy. Bennett makes him very, very strong, obviously, and is a good healer. Uh, if you run double Geo, if you run a Geo support character, you can get more energy recharge, uh, but that's not necessary. And then also characters like Venti are really good because he has a lot of AoE damage and clumping up enemies with an Anemo support can be very nice. So the main thing, the main reaction you want to be focusing on is uh, Superconduct. So Electro and Cryo are really nice with Zhongli. Now, another character I don't have, but I've heard is really good with him, is um, the new Fire Girl. She's not in the character archive, but she does give you, uh, she does help with physical damage DPSs, and if you get her Constellation 4, she reduces enemies' physical resistance, which is just really good. All right, now we're gonna do a quick DPS showcase. Uh, this is all gonna be in areas where I don't get any buffs, uh, no food, no nothing, uh, except the last clip where there's no food, but it's a physical domain, but anyways, I'll talk to you guys about that. Um, so yeah, just a DPS showcase, and keep in mind my Zhongli isn't maxed, my talents are could be higher, and my spear is only level 75, and obviously I could get it up to 90 if I wanted to. So yeah, hope you guys enjoy. Okay, so I'm gonna get to 12 on stream and do it, but for now, 10 is the highest I can do. So we're gonna go to floor 10 with physical Zhongli, and uh, keep in mind there aren't any buffs here for my damage, so everything you see here is just gonna be... Um, you know, what you can expect. The only difference is that I'm gonna be running uh, Barbara here to cleanse this sort of pyro debuff that I get. You made this mess and left me with the pieces. Now I wanna burn all the bridges between us.
Okay, so we've done some normal testing against normal enemies to show you guys what it should look like. Um, but now we're going to be doing this in this domain, which buffs my physical damage. So keep that in mind. I'm not trying to uh, inflate the numbers. I just want to see what it looks like here because I've noticed uh, in some like DPS official videos, they had this in some other uh, DPS character videos. So I'm doing this in this domain um, where we do get some bonus damage. So yeah, as a recap, I tried to show you guys why I think Zhongli is good. Now, his biggest downside, in my opinion, is the fact that he needs two characters in the party setup, usually. Like, he'll need at least an Electro and a um, Cryo to, to be able to proc Superconduct, whereas someone like Kaching or Razor can proc Superconduct uh, with just a Cryo character by their side. That being said though, I think this character is so underrated and is getting so much hate for literally no reason. He's one of the best burst supports and as a DPS, he's a viable and good option and I love him and will be running him. He's very similar to Zhang Ling, who is regarded as one of the best F2P options. And while Zhang Li isn't free to play, his best weapon is. So if you get him um, and you need a DPS, feel free to use him as DPS because he is uh, a great option. Sorry if I mentioned this so many times, I'm just tired of people coming in my Twitch chat saying he's not viable or he's bad or whatever, because when you do the maths, when you look at him, when you test him, when you watch these videos, you can clearly see that he is. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, if I missed anything or you have any questions, comments, leave them. I read just about every comment. Be sure to follow me on Twitch. I stream most nights. If you want to catch me live, uh, the link will be in the description and I appreciate it a lot. You can also join the Discord if you want to. Subscribe if you want to. If you don't, that's okay too. And I'll catch you guys in the next one.